A magnificent setting, two great teams, what drama here. It's right for Arsenal. Ian Wright yet again. What a shot, that's what a shot. Not good. Absolute Bobby Dazzler. They think it's all over. Sports news this week. After winning his eighth order of merit, Colin Montgomery celebrates by telling his caddy just how high he'd like his club sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> and Saddam Hussein has said if he gets the death penalty, he knows who he wants to take it. That's out of order. <laughs> That's out of order. With Ian and Rory this week is a swimming legend who's won silver at the Moscow Olympics just behind a self confessed drug cheat. It was a close finish, the East German only won by a short penis. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Sharon Davis! <laughs> With Boris and Jonathan this week is a former world champion boxer who was recently offered half a million pounds to fight Chris Eubank. The money came from a mysterious donor, known only as Mrs Eubank from Brighton. <laughs> <laughs> it's Nigel Ben. <laughs> We kick off with a footballing excuse. Ian, Rory and Sharon, have a look at this. Here's the Toon Army themselves, Newcastle United, the Premier League serial underachievers. And to add to their misfortunes, this season the Magpies have suffered a spate of injuries to key players. But why is that, Ian, Sharon and Rory? What They've had a lot of hamstring injuries, haven't they, at Newcastle? They have. About mm. four, five. Do you people. get hamstring injuries in swimming? Yeah, what? You get mm. injuries in swimming? No, we don't, we don't really get that many injuries. We, 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 we drown occasionally. But that's a, that could be a problem. That could be a major have problem. Have you ever drowned, Sharon? No, not recently. No, okay. <laughs> Sharon, I have a question for you. Go I have then. a question for you. You'd so like it's a serious question. Because I'm drunk. He's only. He's very serious, man. He's never not serious. The question I have is you lost to an East German. Yeah. Do you remember her name? Petra Schneider. Because he is now a very popular presenter on the man's <laughs> football. <laughs> For real? Yes. No way. Yeah, he changed his old sex. No That's way! Not true. Is that Are you true? serious? Of no, I'm it's serious. not serious. It's not serious. But she, she's oh, actually... that German sense of humour. I never know what to tell <laughs> <say. laughs> you. Everyone's too scared to call him on it. <laughs> Talking of all these footballer injuries, though, yeah. I've, I've, I've never seen a female physio, Ian. I mean, I don't know whether it's Ooh, worth the for this job. It's funny, it, there were female physios. Um, I, I had a problem with men massaging me anyway. Yeah. You know, we, <laughs> I, did you? Well, I did, yeah. It's you not that it, I got aroused. Excited, didn't I didn't get aroused by it, no. It's just that you, you think about stuff and. Do you? Do you, <laughs> have you massage, you think about things. You do think Explain about things. Explain that a bit more. <laughs> I don't know, it gets a sensual kind of feel about it. What, and you get a bit of a. Was I it? think I'm gay. <laughs> You're just a sensual man, that's what it is. You I'm just, a very sensual you man. You like to touch and be touched. I like women massaging me. I don't like men massaging me. It's a funny thing. I don't like it. Ian, you're not gay. I must say, Ian, you don't kiss like a gay man. <laughs> <laughs> I think the hamstring injury... What's a hamstring? I mean, you never hear the injury outside it's football, in, do you? This, it's this, this here. Here. It's this one here. One. Is that hard, Yeah. Oh, yours. Have you got a hamstring, Sean? Thanks, Sean. <laughs> 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 it strikes me as being a wussy injury for the because the Geordies are hard, the Toon Army, they're hard people, aren't they? It sounds a bit wussy to me. No, the hamstring's a major, major part of like the whole speed thing. You know, that's why uh, our friend Michael Owen had a major problem because it's this big muscle here, it gives you the speed. And when that goes, it's like getting shot. It's a nightmare. But it's... Geordies are tough. I mean Geordie women pull hamstrings in their face. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get letters. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm going to be more like paintings, really. <laughs> <laughs> so what's caused all these injuries? Because of the, the pitch is very hard, hard pitches. It's the right answer. <laughs> Why would you say that?
Yes, it's all down to the state of the club's training pitch, which is made from a mixture of fibre and sand and is apparently too hard. Graeme Souness has requested training to be moved to the academy pitch, which he says is softer. The academy responded angrily, saying, Are you calling our pitch a puff? <laughs> <laughs> Boris, Jonathan and Nigel, it's a tennis question for you. Watch this. Here's some action from the recent Madrid Masters, won in thrilling fashion this year by Rafael Nadal. <laughs> but not for the first time, the event has aroused controversy. So why exactly Boris's team? Before we go <laughs> and talk about this, let's welcome the Dark Destroyer, Nigel <laughs> Benn, to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Yes! Nigel Benn. Uh, yes. You were in uh, uh, Celebrities in the Jungle, weren't you? Help, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Yeah. Was that fun? Was it a nice experience? No, that, that, was, that was, wasn't my cup of tea doing you all didn't that. didn't enjoy it? No, either. not at all. I was doing the things that you had to do, eat cockroaches and things like that. I'm, I'm just not into that. Yeah. Come on, you're a boxer, you're a tough guy. No, I'm, I'm tough in the ring, I'm, not, I'm tough in the ring, but now I'm going to eat cockroaches and things. Yeah, yeah you're mixing up with Mike Tyson, he'll eat anything. I've seen Nigel box a few times. He was a fantastic, I don't know if anyone saw this, you were a fantastic boxer. Thank you. you were, that's, a, that's a real man sport. I don't think it's quite as manly a sport as tennis, I'll be honest with you. Nah, don't be silly, don't be silly. Well, because you... What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you could have pushed him in any <laughs> camp away than that. <laughs> I saw you some great fights over the years, but I remember you had different looks. And one stage, am I right? You had like your hair in, um, you had like dreadlocks on one stage. And you had like, yeah. did you have cornrows as well? Plats, yeah. Plats. But yeah. Was that that was a weave on? When it was. Hold on, I don't know the weave on. I had dreadlocks. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a weird thing for boxing. I would have thought that gets in the way because you want to no, be. I had it, had it all tied back. Okay. Ladies good? and gentlemen, we are taking bets on who he's going to punch first. <laughs> <laughs> so come on, what's uh, what's caused controversy at this year's Madrid Masters? He's a good player, though, isn't he, Nadal? Nadal is the best 19-year-old since I played. What did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> you just heard best 19-year-old and your ears went under. What was that? <laughs> Boris. <laughs> was that? Did I hear best 19-year-old? <laughs> Boris, you have to understand that English is Ian's second language. <laughs> <laughs> no, but hang on a second. You're saying you're making... I don't know an Englishman who's more proud of being English than Ian. No one is. I don't think I do. I, I, genuinely, he is so proud of being English. But they've introduced now, and Boris, if I were you, I'd be a bit worried. They've introduced a new test whether or not you are British in some way. And there are all sorts of questions which Ian would answer with no problem because he's as we know. Coming. For example, how many people are there in the Welsh Assembly? <laughs> the answer is, who gives a shit? Yeah. <laughs> it's my man. But Boris, there's a question for you as well. This is on this. Have you ever won Wimbledon? Once or twice. So you'll never be British? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the best British boxer? Not necessarily you fought against, but in, in recent history, who do you think was the best? Oh, the British boxer that li I like is Ricky Hatton. Yeah, man. But he's a right, tough man. act. He's yeah. a good fighter. What's his name? Ricky Hatton. Okay. Hitman Hatton. Hit Never man. heard of him? No. <laughs> I only know the Klitschko brothers, who used to be oh, Russian oh. slash Germans now. Yes. I think you'll find the Ukraine. Are you claiming them then, Boris? Because of, the way you said that, it's like you're. Well, no, we have already because we haven't well, had a German like a... boxer since Max Schmeling. Schme that's that's the way a couple 1933. Months. Were the brothers exactly. you mentioned? Were they like a tag team? Because that's against the rules. <laughs> 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 what were they call these brothers? What was the name? Klitschko. Klitschko. Are they brothers like me and Nigel brothers, or are they <laughs> real? <brothers? laughs> I'm from up north. I don't know how this thing works. We're brothers because we're like urban. That's why we're brothers. <laughs> John, have you, just your, have you just brought yourself in on the I'm brother? I'm a brother. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm down with the brothers. Yeah, but... I'm, I'm down with the brothers. Is that the brother? What is that? <laughs> Look at his hand. I'm... <laughs> <That's>, uh... <laughs> Either that or I'm calling a taxi. Okay. <laughs> What's the controversy at the Madrid Masters? Is it to do with siestas? Is it because he likes to have a little nap in the afternoon, like so many Spanish men do? He had a nap when he was playing Henman, <laughs> which is why Henman was only beaten 6-2, 6-3. Six, six, <laughs> six, well, he was actually confused for a little bit because all the ball girls were models. It's the right answer. Wow. <laughs> Ball girls for the second year running the Masters Series event in Madrid decided to employ models as ball girls. Wow. The models have not proved popular with everyone. 
What's wrong with those nice young boys who normally do it? Demanded an enraged Cliff Richard. <laughs> And said of the models, they certainly look good where I was sat at home watching the telly after being knocked out the first round. <laughs> Kate Moss did a short stint but was asked to leave after officials noticed that the baseline had mysteriously vanished. <laughs> okay, at the end of that round, Ian's team has three points, Boris's team has three points. Come on. We crack on with the treble, where sports personalities are paired with things to which they're connected. Ian, Rory and Sharon, your subject for the treble is sporting sidelines, and your three are... Leicester goal machine and quiz show legend, Gary Lineker. Lantern-jawed rugby immortal, Lawrence Delalio. And fussy Danish card waver, Kim Milton Nielsen. But which one dabbles in ballroom dancing? <laughs> Who's providing voices for animation? And which one is a professional singer? Ian's team. Can you imagine Gary Lineker dirty dancing? I've really seen, grinding I've, up I've against seen, someone seen. like Alan Hansen or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then they go back to the hotel room. Is this the thing you were thinking of, of when you're having these massages? <laughs> And then they go, they go back to their hotel room on a bed of crisps and ride themselves. Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> He's a good mover, though, wasn't he, Gary? Lightning over six inches, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Ian has... Um, you had a couple of very nice fan letters, because last week he was on the show wearing a T-shirt and a cowboy hat, and you got a few admiring yeah, very uh, nice it was letters, too. didn't you? Yeah, I got some letters from some guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did they say? Well, I think it's something to do with your village people kind of crack as well. Oh, it's my fault that you I look like a gay man. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Yes, we do. Talk away. What did it say? It just said that they like certain things about me. Which things? <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I just don't feel comfortable. <laughs> Boris, can you imagine somebody's no, looking... couldn't even imagine. <laughs> <that you're> doing... <laughs> well, at least you've quashed those rumours now, so if we can crack on... Thanks a lot, Lee. Yeah, and it's not like you're wearing a leather hat to attract more attention. <laughs> Interesting, we have got one of our country's top swimmers on yes, and yes. one of our top brothers. I mean, they don't get many swimming brothers, do you? No. <laughs> why, why is that? All right, on a serious note, I think it's the density of our muscles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why the brothers don't swim. It's just, what's, there's nothing in it. What are you swimming for? It's a great, great, great... <laughs> Great <laughs> small, you know, but it's just something I don't know why. So, Ian, let me get it right. You just think that, that you're too dense to swim. Is that what you just said? I, <laughs> can I just, can I just, I'm very dense, okay. you know. I can swim underwater pretty well. Is that, that kind of goes. That's called drowning, Ian. Not... <laughs> what stroke is that? What stroke was that one just did? I don't know. The, the one when you go like that. <laughs> that looks more like a cat <laughs> washing its ears. <laughs> I cannot see Lawrence Delalio dancing, can you? No, Honestly, he can't be dancing. You know, unless he wants to dance, and then you have to, because you're not going to say no to him, right? <laughs> I think the referee would definitely maybe do something like dancing, because obviously he's bullied as a child. Do you think referees generally have a sort of psychological problem that makes them want to be referees? And traffic wars. And... <laughs> <laughs> so, come on, what are the connections between these three? Which are the connections? I'm definitely we going for the referee the as referee must be the ballroom dancer. The ballroom dancer, yeah. Right. Gary, we know, does a very dull voiceover for um, a sort of Thomas the Tank Engine type thing. Which means, I suppose, that Lawrence Delalio, Delalio must have been, at some stage, a singer. A singer. Let's have a look at the answers. Gary Lineker is now providing the voice of Underground Ernie for a new animated TV series. Yeah. Lawrence Delalio is a former choir boy who bizarrely sang backing vocals on Tina Turner's hit We Don't Need Another Hero. And Kim Milton Nielsen is currently starring in the Danish version of Strictly Come Dancing. Three points. Milton Nielsen sent Wayne Rooney off for sarcastic clapping. Sarcastic clap? Isn't that what you catch in the ironic brothel? <laughs> <laughs> Underground Ernie isn't Gary Lineker's first experience in this type of work. He also provides the voice for that robot that presents Match of the Day. Horace <laughs> 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 Delalio was a choir boy who actually sang at Andrew Lloyd Webber's wedding. The singing was to drown out the screams of the bride as she was dragged up the aisle. <laughs> Boris, Jonathan and Nigel, your subject for the treble is the secret of my success, and your three are... Gimlet-eyed Chelsea totem, John Terry. Florida-based Russian tennis ace, Maria Sharapova. And 
burly Bradford Bulls winger Leslie the Volcano Vinacola. But which one puts her success down to the hair? Who attributes it to bananas? And who reckons it's all down to an extra two inches? Boris's hmm. team. Yeah, yeah, that's a great nickname, Volcano, isn't it? Yeah. You both had good nicknames. You were the Dark Destroyer. Yeah. You were Boom Boom, weren't you? That's boom right. Boom Becker. Yes. Why Boom Boom? Because of my powerful game. Boom Boom. <laughs> yes. I thought it was because you shagged Basil Brush. Is that not true? <laughs> he's, not, he's not worth it, Boris. <laughs> Boris Levin. Sharpova is a lovely looking woman. She is. Not only lovely, she plays a hell of a tennis. That's what I mean. <laughs> she goes to that tennis uh, coaching camp in Florida, doesn't she? She goes to the Boletary yeah. Tennis Academy. I used to practice. Nick Boletary. Nick Boletary. One of the most interesting things about Nick Boletary is not only he's an, an excellent coach, he's a motivator, he's an inspir inspiration, a leader. He's married already for the tenth time. What? He's married ten times? Yes. And he did marry the same girl twice. And that's three times. That's forgetful of him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And she has been living and training there for the last five or six years. Yes. And the reason she's so good is because, you know, tennis is not the easiest. Way. It's a man's sport, right? We talk about boxing. It's a man's it's sport. Just... You go in, you just punch cut people, fine. Exactly. It's all over. You have to stay in our game, focus. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have we... you ever seen him play tennis? No. Nope. I've, got, I've got the power, the service of Pete Sampras <laughs> and the internal game of Monica Sellers. That's why they call me Peter Sellers on the course. <laughs> Okay, hairdressing. Okay. Ian, uh, you shave your head. Yes, I do. Are you going thin as well? Is that where you shave it? I got the front. I don't like the way the front grows. No. You're not for no, bad. No, the front doesn't grow anymore. You don't oh. need to worry about it. <laughs> I dyed it blonde once. It never came back the same. Hmm. I could always have been ginger. That would have been a <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Black and ginger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you look like the inside of a Jaffa cake, yeah. wouldn't you? <laughs> so it's two extra inches. Well, who amongst us hasn't often thought that two <laughs> extra inches? I believe Sharpova, she probably has two extra inches. If not, I'm sure Rory's got two inches. <laughs> I love a banana. I think it's nature's finest fruit. Controversial, yes, yes. I'm not afraid to tackle the big issue. Oh, shut up. Oh, so, uh, what do you think, Nigel? What are the connections? Viacom of the hair, John Terry the bananas, and Sharapova the inches. Let's have a look. In fact, John Terry has put his success down to eating three bananas. He scored twice against Charlton and kept up the ritual ever since. Maria Sharapova reckons her number one ranking has been helped by the fact she's grown two inches. Yes. And Leslie Vinicolo claims he's been playing better since he stopped cutting his hair. Three points. There you go. Leslie Vinicolo is not the only sportsman to be likened to a volcano. Wayne Rooney has been known at various times as Mount Edna, Mount Ethel, Mount Agnes, oh. Mount Gladys, <laughs> and after one particularly voracious weekend, Mount Eastbourne. <laughs> John Terry always eats three bananas before a big game. Whenever he's away on England duty, he gets Peter Crouch to bend down and pick him straight from the tree. <laughs> and at the end of that round, Boris's team has six points, Ian's team has six points. <laughs> with claim to fame where we found out if you can tell what dizzy height sportsmen have reached just by a little bit of mild inquisition. Can we have our first mystery guest, please? <laughs> OK, this is Jim. He's 62 and comes from the North East. But what's his sporting claim to fame, Ian's team? Jim, have you ever been a female East German swimmer? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you in your 60s? Yes. Have you got an allotment? I know it. No. Uh, yeah. No. Are you looking for um, handyman jobs around the... <laughs> no. <laughs> Did your sport involve a racket? No. So you're not an arms dealer? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Did you have to get completely naked to do the sport that you've done at some stage? At some stage. Okay. Only in the showers. Ah. I just wanted to get a picture of you naked, cos that's the way... <laughs> Have you ever been involved in... What about... Is, is it major sport, big, big occasion? Is it one of our favourite sports? So yes, Are we talking about England's national sport? Yes. Where's what, what it? <laughs> <laughs> are we talking footy? Of course we are. 
Yes. You know, don't you? Of course you it is. Know. Has <laughs> anyone ever said you look like an old version of Jim Montgomery, the famous goalkeeper? You're right, yes. <laughs> because... Yeah. Jim... Yes, it's Jim Montgomery, 1973 FA Cup winner and Sunderland legend. Save ever. Yeah. Greatest save. Yeah. Really pushing forward. Terry, brilliant save. And Lorna makes it one each. No. Bongo, yeah. the first to congratulate Montgomery. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you to Montgomery. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, can we have our second mystery guest, please? Steve OK, Martin. this is Paul, he's 50 and he comes from Peterborough. But Boris's team, what's his sporting claim to fame? Are you a sportsman? Was. Well done, Jonathan. Great start. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got to deal with the basics first yeah. and then you work on <laughs> Have you ever done modelling work for catalogues? <laughs> Only recently. Because that kind of stance is normally, it's like underwear and stuff, isn't it? <laughs> One hand on the hip and looking off in the middle distance. <laughs> okay. Often pointing. <laughs> like, there's the bloke with my trousers. <laughs> Did you do a man sport or were you a boxer? Either. Man sport. A man sport. Man sport. Definitely okay. a man sport. Good. But it can be ladies as well. Men and ladies. Mm. Was it a ball sport or was it a different sort of sport not involving balls? <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan, you're amazing. I yeah, think sport definitely a ball sport. It's a ball sport? Yeah. I'd say rugby. No. Don't disagree with my man, <laughs> you all right? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a man's sport. She says you played rugby, you bloody <laughs> played <laughs> rugby. Was it a team sport or were you kind of a, a what's the word, soloist? <laughs> Individual. In the, yeah, OK. No, it was team sport. Team sport? Team sport, yeah. OK. And were you, did you play for your country? Yes. Ah. For Germany? <laughs> <laughs> against. against 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 Germany. Oh. Did you win against? Were you good or bad? Oh, always. Oh. Yes. Nice. Always one. Oh, 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 oh. What do you mean always? <laughs> <laughs> it couldn't have been football. <laughs> no, not football. No That's football. What I mean, well good work, mm. Captain. You want to watch it? He's going to come up there and slap me in the face with a leather glove in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Was it ice dancing? <laughs> You're getting close. Oh, yeah. He means you're leaning in a bit too much. Back yeah. off. <laughs> <laughs> Are you part of the Olympic movement? Yes. The Olympic movement? I definitely as a, not. As one. As an athlete. Rory. Did you win, uh, did you win the Olympics? No. Uh, yes. You did? OK, so your team won the Olympics. It involves yes. a ball. Oh. Does it involve a stick as well? Yes. Stick and a ball. Are we possibly in the realm of hockey? Just about. Do you know what? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to give you two points. It's Paul Barber, hockey gold medalist in the 1988 Olympics. Yeah, yeah. And here he is in his moment of triumph. First opportunity for Paul Barber. Barber, switch. Oh, and it's in. Where were the Germans? But frankly, who cares? And the gold medal is Great Britain's. The fairy tale has come true. So, Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Barber. And at the end of that round, Boris's team has eight points, Ian's team has nine points. We finished the show with the name game. This week, we'd like Jonathan and Rory to draw the clues. The team in front goes first, which is Ian's team, and it's Rory to do the drawing. Can OK, I... and your time starts, starts now. Go on, Rosa. <laughs> Peter, Peter Crouch. Peter Crouch. Oh, Crouch. Crouch. <laughs> Go. Correct. <laughs> Pac-Man, one that's just recently. Oh, oh. Fancy Pac-Man. Oh, Impor yeah, yeah, good. Whoa! Yeah. Woo! Come on, baby. Sport. Well, I want to run. Sport, Ian, is Football. that... Yeah, thank you. Mm. Rolf Harris. Eagles, um, Crystal Palace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, OK. Oh, 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 wait, 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 w
the Crystal Palace, um, is it somebody? Yeah, it's somebody, not necessarily a player. Is it somebody? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Ian Dowie! Oh. Correct. <laughs> 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 Uh, whistle. Ah, yeah, the good, ref. good. Referee. The ref. Kalina! 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 Yeah. Kalina! <laughs> oh, hang on. What's going on, Rob? Same person. Oh, you've got another person? Someone, Duncan Goodyear. Yeah. <laughs> All right, sports. Like oh, okay. <laughs> Cricket. Thank you. Uh, oh. uh, Ian Botham. No, 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 let me think. Um, Don Bradman. <laughs> Sir Don Garfield Don Sobers. <laughs> telephone, telephone. Oh, George oh. Shane Wall. Oh, Shane Wall is the right answer. Thank you. <laughs> Boris's team, you need eight points to win. <laughs> and the to do the win. <laughs> Come on! They like each other. There's no way they're going to get it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a freshener. <laughs> <laughs> OK, it's time to ask now. All right. Go on. There's a sport. My Tennis. Of course. Yes. All right, OK. They're not going to get it. Tennis. Uh, table tennis. No, <laughs> it's a... <laughs> Jesus, this is brilliant, Jonathan. Um, Great. <laughs> I know who that is. No, that's Lewis. That's a He's got a girl. skirt on. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a, he's got a kilt Maybe on. He's a tennis player. No. <laughs> <laughs> he, he cried when he beat someone. The he, Murray, Murray, yes. Murray. Oh, God. Oh, oh, that's the oh, 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 Okay, that's the sport. Boxing? Yeah, okay, okay. Sugar Ray. Sugar Ray. Andy Murray. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone oh. can see. Look at the eye. How oh, you? Go. Oh, Chris, 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 Chris you, Ben. Yeah. It's the eye. Give me back the eye. Oh, no, that's easy. That's easy. Formula One. <laughs> the Formula One. Look at the chin for Christ. Cool, cool, <laughs> cool, 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 Go. Yeah, OK, OK, OK. Oh, blimey. Go. Football. Rooney, Rooney? Yeah. Rooney. Wayne Rooney? Ray Rooney. OK, that's the sport. Can't be much time now. OK. Boxing. Who's that, but you? Yeah. And then this is... Boxing. Oh, that's... And this is putting a little hamburger on there. Can you talk? It's like it's like that. Oh, it's like, mate, it's about that can you game. talk, Lee? Yeah. Can you, you say? Can, put, can you tell you people? Can put, put no. Sausages. And what's good is. George Foreman. George Foreman. George Foreman. George Foreman. Okay, that's the end of the game. And Boris's team has 13 points, but this week's winners is Ian's team with 15 points. For Ian, Rory and Sharon, Boris, Jonathan and Nigel. My name's Lee Mack. Join us next week on They Think It's All Over. Goodbye. <laughs> and there's more from Jonathan Ross on Film 2005 next here on BBC One as Rhea Fiennes, Cameron Diaz and Tony Collette talk about their latest movies.